So today's video is going to be on this all pink everything. I'm definitely thinking pink because of this wig. Uh, I want to talk to you guys about the wig first. Um, this was sent to me from EE e. Wigs. And now I know you guys have seen this wig a thousand times on my channel or on my Instagram for sure. <laughs> But this one is different. I did just get this one. So the previous one I had sent from a different company. This wig is so, so good. It's literally the same exact quality as the wig that was sent to me a few months back. But the only difference is the price. So this gorgeous wig retails for $54. It is the same exact quality as the one that was sent to me before. Um, it's just literally almost half the price. And they also did give me a code which is going to make this wig $49 for you guys. That is an affiliated code. So you get $5 off and I get $5 as well. I can try to find a non-affiliated code if that makes you uncomfortable. So just to prove my point, I did some research. Here is a picture of this same wig for $95. Here is a picture of this same wig for $106. Here is a picture of this wig for $105. Here is a picture of this wig for $109. Again, guys, this is literally half the price that you would pay from any of those websites. And it's the same exact quality. I absolutely love this wig. I did film a really quick video um, you know, from beginning to end, taking this out of the bag to getting it on my head. Literally, when I say five minutes, I mean five minutes. And I'll probably be able to edit it down a little bit better. But this wig was super easy to from start to finish. I've ordered a lot of cheaper wigs. Um, I have a couple Amazon videos where they're all around $50. And those were not just start to finish put on my head, cut off the lace. Uh, so most of those had like widow's peaks and I had to like pluck the hairline to make it look more natural. This one I didn't have to do really hardly anything. So I do want to put that little demo in the very beginning and then I will move on to the eye look and then the face. All right, so I have a wig cap on. Here is the super cute packaging. Let me zoom you guys a little bit out. You're probably gonna see the light that's above my head though. Um, here is the gorgeous packaging that they sent it over. This has to be the cutest packaging that I've ever received a wig in. And then it comes in another plastic bag with a round kind of thing just to keep it in its shape. So then I pull that out and it's in a same like little fishnet bag, like I just caught a wig. Take it out and it's got some stuffing in order to keep the cap in shape. Here is how pretty that hair is. Ooh. It comes with a wig brush. I love when they send these over. Alex is obsessed with my wig brushes. I have to like hide them from him. He's insane. And it also comes with two wig caps, which is always awesome. This hair is super long. It has that gorgeous body wave. It has little bits of pink and orange hair, different colors of pink. It is so, so pretty. So it does come with lace. All I'm gonna do is cut this off. I'm just gonna leave a little bit. I'll show you guys once I put it on just how much lace I'm going to leave, but I don't think that I need to show you guys how to cut off lace. I just cut it off and leave, a, leave all of the hairs that they've super carefully sewn in, obviously. All right, so here is the inside of the cap. There are three clips. One on each of the sides, which is going to keep the wig super close to your head. And then this one on the top, I don't usually keep these. I usually cut these off. In case you wanted to make a part that goes all the way back, you're going to have to cut this off. It's not going to be difficult. Um, but I guess this is for rooting it if you don't wear a wig cap, which I don't ever do. There are also adjustable straps in here to, so that you can make the wig cap smaller to fit your head, which I'm going to use. I just clip them in like that. Now I'm going to put this baby on my head. Alright, so now I'm going to attach the clips. They should fall right above your ear like that. Unless you're going to try to do like a side part or something with it. Alright, once you've clipped this in, this wig is not coming off of your head. 
Whenever you are brushing a tangle out, make sure you start towards the bottom and work your way up. But I'm just kind of brushing this to make it not so staticky. Look at that hairline. I mean, and that's literally with me just putting it on my head. What I'm gonna do to make that hairline just disappear is take some powder foundation, take whatever shade you like, and I'm just gonna pat that on where the wig meets, where the lace meets my skin. putting a little bit on here to hide where that wig cap starts and my little hairline stops. I'm not gonna give this wig a part. I don't, I, I like it to look kind of like tousled and sexy. Just the way I say sexy is like the least sexy thing ever. That is what the hairline is looking like. I absolutely love it. This is literally a five minute job and I think it looks so, so good. This is incredible quality for such a good price. The hair feels so, so nice and soft. I love the wigs that don't have any bangs. It's nice to just like put back a little bit of the hair and have the rest of it hanging out like this. It's nice, to, easy to style in so many different ways. You can pin back the little hair like this. Taking this Neutrogena Brightening Eye Perfector and I'm just going to put some concealer on my eyelid and right above. Taking this 226 Zoeva brush and I'm just going to use that concealer to clean up underneath of my eyebrow. I'm just gonna bring it down to my eyelid to prime my eyes. I'm going to clean up around the top of my brow with this concealer as well. I'm using the Magic Palette from Juvia's Place. I'm going to use this 228 brush on this bright pink shade and I am just going to make sure there's no creases on my eyelid and I'm going to start out by putting this in the outer V of my eye. into the crease as well. I'm going to take this Morphe E23 and go into Mana. And I'm just going to kind of use this to warm it up a little bit and blend out those edges. Cause nothing reels you in quite as well as Never getting what you want yeah. Going back in with the pinker shade You gotta let me I gotta slow down You gotta catch me Break the rules saying this Don't hold it against me But I'm tired of keep then I'm going to go in with this 234 Zoeva brush and this cream shade. And I'm going to come down from the brow bone with this shade and just blend into the edge of that pink. I'm going to use that same concealer pen just to place a little bit of concealer on the 
beginning of my eye and using the same 226 brush I'm going to cut my crease I'm going to first take this dark pink shimmer shade and I'm going to put that right on the right where that pink starts to meet the middle of my lid and just packing it on. And then I'm going to take the lighter pink on the other side of that brush and I'm just going to Put that right in front of the darker pink shade. On the inner corner, I'm taking that skin tone colored cream shade and just putting that on the first third of my eye and blending it into that lighter pink. Finishing up, just going to take that darker more vibrant neony pink and blend it into that first shimmer and kind of just touch up the crease using my covergirl eyeliner i'm going to just draw a thin line on my eyelid I'm going to use my Gorgeous Cosmetics to just prep my real lashes for my false lashes. For lashes, I'm using my Coco Lashes in the shade Stella. Alright, that is it for the eye look. I'm going to move on to the face. Hello, hello, hello. Alright, so now that my eyes are done, I'm going to start on my face. I'm going to start out by using some sunscreen because your girl is pale and it's getting sunny out there. This is from Jan Marini. This is their antioxidant daily face protectant. This is water resistant. doesn't have like that obnoxious sunscreen smell. Maybe pale, but when you tan people are looking like little bags, leather bags, I'll be over here looking young. All right, next I'm gonna do some color correcting because I just don't know what else to do with my skin. This is from CoverGirl. This is their True Blend pre-touching palette for color correcting. I am going to use this green shade on my dang pimples that are everywhere. My skin is so bad right now, I just don't even know. This is the creamiest color correcting palette I've ever used. Normally I find them like really difficult. I'm going to use the purple shade everywhere pretty much. This is going to brighten so I'm putting it in my dark areas. I'm just going to take my sponge and just kind of blend that in a little bit. For foundation, I am of course using my new favorite. This is the True Blend from CoverGirl. I'm using L10 and L40. I'm pretty much doing two pumps of each. And that gets me this like pale yellow shade that I just pretend that I am. <laughs> I love this stuff. If you guys have not seen my review, you should watch it now. It's buildable to full coverage. It's a nice light layer. 
It has a long wear and it looks really good on the skin. What's everyone been up to? Anybody ready for summer? Because I am not. Normally I'm like really excited that summer's here, but I'm still I'm still in my like August body, so I sound so whiny, but going to the gym is so difficult with my freaking ankle. Like every day I get out of bed and my first steps like tell me exactly what kind of day it's gonna be. Sometimes it's like, you know, my first steps are always like kind of creaky, but sometimes it's like the first step is pain. I'm like great. I'm so over it. Got shoulders out, so I'm blending this down. I just woke up, so I'm really trying to get it together. I do need to refill my coffee cup though. I'm gonna use that same foundation in the shade T40, which is sun beige. And I'm just taking this on the little tube that it comes in because it gives me a nice straight line. I'm gonna use this 109 Zoeva brush, even though it's dirty, it's just my favorite brush to blend out this foundation for some reason, um, at least for the contouring part of it. You guys, if you've ever been to my channel before, know that I got some big old cheeks and I need layers of contouring. just blends out so easily. It's raining today, which... Is anyone else tired of the rain? Over here in Virginia, on, in the US, it rains every day. And then of course I just take my sponge and blend out all of the edges. And that brush is shedding on me, which is Makes me so mad. Of course, for concealer, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape. I would love to use something different, but it's really the only thing that I like on my under eyes. Please, if you guys have a concealer that you really like, let me know down below. I'd love, love to try it. I need something full coverage. I'm going to crease no matter what on my under eyes, but if I could crease just like a little bit less. I'm really afraid that this video is going to be too dark, but it's like I said, it's raining outside. It's been overcast for like two weeks and I have a new light, but I feel like it's not helping my background any. All right, I'm gonna use my Cover FX setting powder on this gorgeous Dew Color 03 brush. I'm just using that to set all of my concealer areas. I'm going to use this Kalan Cosmetics bronzer in the shade Sunkiss Bronze.
looks like it's attaching to the foundation really weird right there. So I'm gonna try and use my setting powder to kind of correct that. But I'm not really sure why that's happening. All right, so since I have this peachy pinky hair, I definitely want to use this peachy pinky blush from Gorgeous Cosmetics, and I'm going to use it on this 106 powder brush from Zoeva. These brushes were actually gifted to me from a wig company, and I was like, thank you. They're really nice. These brushes are, they're nice and soft. I've never had one shed before about that so brush that I used to contour. To blend out my cream contour, the 106 paintbrush was definitely shedding hard. All right, since my bronzer went a little funky, I'm gonna use this CoverGirl Press Powder on this BH Cosmetics number two pro brush. And I'm just gonna kind of blend everything with this powder. as well as wipe off that setting powder and see what we've got going on over there. I think it's the acne that it's blotching up on. I'm not really sure why. It's like actually not super texturized. It's kind of healing. And it didn't do it over here on this acne, so. To highlight, I'm gonna use this Miss Rose Shimmer Highlighter. This is in the shade 03. I got this from like a Japanese company and I just really love it. Ooh. It was like $2 too. Alright, I'm gonna go get some coffee and come back and finish this, these eyes and uh, my brows and stuff. Alright, I'm just gonna finish this eye by taking that same bright pink that is on the outer V of my top lid. And I'm just smoking it out on the bottom lash line. Taking that same Gorgeous Cosmetics mascara. And there you go, my eyes are finished. All right, now for lips. I've been trying a couple and I think I found one that matches. This is Rebel Rose from Wet n Wild. I'm gonna take a little bit of a little stitchous, I think is how you say it, from ColourPop, and just put that in the middle. Alright, guys, that is it for this super pink look. Mmm, yummy. I do hope that you enjoyed it. I will leave everything down below for this wig in particular, and I can also list the products that I used. 